All right, good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us for another day of uh, Libre Planet at the uh, campus of um, <clears throat> Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Cambridge, Massachusetts. It is Sunday, March 20th, 2016, 10.30 a.m. Eastern. All right, so uh, Libre Planet is the uh, annual conference of the Free Software Foundation, and the basic idea is that um, software should uh, not just be available for its source code to be interpreted, but also to have, protect something that people around here today call the four freedoms, which in includes the ability to, um, you know, modify the source code. And, and um, basically, it means that if you want to run something and you're worried it's going to spy on you, you can make another fork that doesn't spy on you. And then if uh, a company wants to take the code that you and your friends have written um, and sell, uh, you know, binary apps, uh, then um, they have to release the code. Uh, that's that's you know part of kind of the idea here and um so uh certain products like linux or as a lot of people around here call it gnu linux uh that runs on some of the general public license um which was uh developed a long time ago and, and has a very large impact on the uh, uh software the way that software runs the internet and, and computers all over the world today and um, all kinds of devices uh so the um idea with the uh, Libre Planet is to kind of showcase different problems, different ideas, different programs, different uh, case studies of how people have done different things. So like yesterday we saw stuff like uh, how people use free software to protect uh, the security of activists in Mexico. Um, today we're going to be hearing a whole bunch of different things. Um, there's a, another room opened up today, so we'll have four separate tracks. So the live streams usually have been working pretty well this year. Um, you can run rooms uh, using VLC. There's uh, web addresses. So if you go to libreplanet.org um, 2016, you can get that there. Um, so uh, I, I think we're going to be mirroring room 123, continue to room, mirror room 123 today. Uh, and that will have the Library Freedom Project, although um, if we do switch away, there's uh, some other um, very interesting talks. In room 155, there's uh, Beyond Reproducible Builds, which is something that I think was ta touched on in the Snowden keynote, maybe, and certainly at other points. The idea that like, if you're a developer and your software gets infiltrated by the man, um, if you have a reproducible build when other people compile your software, um, differences would show up when they're trying they're trying to put bugs in the the if everyone has the same compilers in the same environments then the, the byte for byte the programs should be the same but the reality is that compilers are a little messier than that right now and so uh we've seen a number of attacks uh going after developers first it was kind of sysadmins that was sort of a notorious snowden type revolution but now we're seeing more targeting web developers things like uh the os10 BitTorrent client was had a developer get attacked and uh put rad somewhere just a couple of weeks ago so um yeah so reproducible builds that is very relevant on that front um a lot of talk about the copyright act uh, various sort of there's uh, potential ch changes happening in the li Library of Congress, so that's also coming up. So there's a lot of things at stake. Um, at uh, 6.45, uh, I think a, a lot of people here are, including uh, the, it was, it's been tweeted out by the FSF as well, like a lot of organizations are, are working in support of a protest against what's called the World Wide Web Consortium uh the W3C, which has an office here in MIT at the Status Center. And so W3C is meeting this weekend to um, change their policies or consider changing policies to include something called DRM or digital rights management in the specification of HTML. This is actually a huge deal. Um, it'd be the first time that something so, con so control freakish has um, been used to uh, or could be potentially rolled into these protocols. The whole internet is a bunch of computers talking to each other over protocols, and this would basically turn copyright bits, uh, similar to the um, things that like you know prevent digital cables from being connected uh, between devices. It's a similar kind of idea. So yeah, we're about to get going here, but that's going on. And then at 8 p.m. Eastern, there'll be a panel on DRM, um, although there will be a snowstorm coming in, but there'll be a panel at the MIT Media Center. And so I'm gonna try to cover that as well. So I think we're about to get going with the Library of Freedom Project here. But anyway, the, the, so we're going to cover the protest outside this building um, later. And then, uh, yeah, the panel, will, which I, and again, there's a lot at stake here. So I think it's actually uh, pretty significant and uh, worth following for everybody. So uh, stay tuned. Um, we're going to try to keep things going with Unicorn Riot, try to slide in some interviews. And then this stuff uh, sort of after the official conference later tonight, I think is quite important really um, at the overall scale of it so anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in uh, I'm Hong Pong and uh, you can um, follow us on 
uh, Unicorn Riot Ninja, and uh, I'm going to keep trying to tweet, uh, and we'll sort of, you know, kind of keep the word going out there, looking for different things that are important for different activist groups and kind of overall internet trend situation. So thank you for tuning in. Take care.